Um, so what we do is we help healthcare applications and health systems get electronic health data into their products in literally minutes. And we're live with a bunch of organizations across the US, but really what we're trying to solve is this problem of interoperability in healthcare like a lot of us here. Uh, traditionally, before the fire days, it would take you about a year to get integrated with a health system because you would often have to sign a BAA, meet the health uh, IT team, meet the doctors, meet the C-suite, get sign off from all of them, do the technical integration, and that would just take forever. And oftentimes, it would kill innovation even before it started. So what we're saying is you don't have to talk to all the health systems. Just ask your patients or the people that have their data to share that with you. And rather than go through all these different layers, get it from the consumers. And that can literally happen in minutes without uh, a lot of technical overhead and a lot of bureaucracy. So what we're doing is we're working with a bunch of these health systems, EHR vendors, the Blue Button team, um, companies like CVS to make it easier to access consumer data at all those health systems and uh, locations and then transform it into the fire standard if it's not already in the fire standard and make that available to app developers. And an app developer in this case can be really anyone who wants to access the data. It can be an individual like quantified selfer, it can be a health system itself, it could be an insurance company, a life insurance company, or a lot of us in here as well. So what we built is this Fire API platform that has a Fire server out of the box. Uh, it's all cloud hosted, so there's no setup. Uh, you know, you can literally get up and running in minutes. You just sign up and you hit the one up health endpoint. Uh, we have this aggregation from clinical data and sensors. Uh, we have user permissions management, which is very important because you want to make sure that the security is locked down and that only those people who should be able to access a certain resource are able to access it. And we have a bunch of open data, which is, again, very useful in the healthcare industry because you have, uh, sorry, uh, how do we, there we go. Um, you have, a bunch of additional information like uh, the doctors and provider organizations, NPIs, NDC code, SNOMED, like all that stuff that 1UP Health is basically maintaining so that you don't have to. Um, one of the reasons that we uh, applied and submitted to that uh, security fire server challenge was because we really think that it's important in healthcare, even though that this data is not protected under HIPAA, we obviously want to store it in the same HIPAA-required settings with the same security guidelines and usage rights. So uh, we learned a few things from that challenge, basically. And you know, we, even before the challenge, we tried to practice those things internally. So one is, obviously, don't build your own authentication. Use something that's open source or something that's been battle-tested. Um, and then we try and use a lot of serverless technologies at 1UP Health because we want to help mitigate against things like DDoS attacks. Um, so that serverless architecture gains a lot of like stability. And you, before we were on serverless because, so we're, we're building everything on Amazon Web Services, but a lot of AWS wasn't HIPAA compliant that would enable uh, serverless components. So before we were on that, uh, we would often see issues with our uptime. But basically, since we went serverless, since uh, we were kind of embraced more of those component pieces of the cloud, like Lambda and things like that, uh, we haven't seen any downtime, which is pretty awesome, and a big piece in security and you know mitigating DDoS. So um, what we enable today is connectivity to over 200 health systems across the US. So that includes you know, Blue Button, it spans Epic, Cerner, All Scripts, we're adding Meditech integration, um, a lot of big health systems like Hopkins, Cedar sinai Cornell, Stanford, you know, big organizations that all are making their data available through Fire or through other means. And this is, again, available to any app developer like on day one. Um, uh, via a Fire API platform. And one of the pieces that we're working on here 
is the fact that a lot of these health systems, even though they are on a fire standard, uh, they all kind of have their own interpretations of the fire standard. And sometimes when we hit uh, you know, a patient resource from one location and another location, those resources do not conform. Uh, so what we're doing at One Up Health is we're making sure that that data is canonicalized to the you know, fire standard, and then we store it as that and then make it available to you as a developer in that canonicalized format so you don't have to work with the inconsistencies between either health systems within one EHR or uh, even greater inconsistencies between different, uh, you know, among the EHRs. So uh, I'm going to show you, uh, you know, a demo since I, I can't control the local interface here. Um, basically, we have a demo web application that you can use to get up and running in literally minutes. It's on GitHub. You can just fork it get it up and running and be connected to these 200 health systems. So the way it works is uh, you can pretend that this is your patient application. A patient would log in with their email. That patient is sent an email to uh, log in. Then once they log in, they see an empty dashboard because this is the first time that the patient has used your application. So the patient can click connect some health systems and be directed to a list or a you know a box where they can type in their health system's name. Uh, not only can they type in their health system's name, but we've done work to map providers, any provider to a health system or any physical location to the health system so that they can type in which natural text search and find the health system that their data is at. Then they click connect and we have some demo accounts you know provided by the EHR vendors. Um, they would be directed to their patient portal, click uh, log in with their username and password, click authorize, and then once they click authorize, what happens is 1UP Health gets a token to access their data. We store that all on the 1UP Health API backend. We send the patient back to your application, and your app then queries our APIs to pull in all that data into your product. And then you can do whatever you want with that you know, data, uh, subject to your terms and conditions, obviously. And um, you can do analytics, you can show this back to the patient, you can have the patient connect, you know, 10 different health systems, aggregate their data and show them like, you know, the master view of their uh, 360 degree patient history across, you know, the entire US. Um, and you can instantly query it via all the fire API, you know, query parameters and do things like uh, subscriptions, you know, uh, really from the first time you integrate. There's, there's no setup with that stuff because it's fully hosted. Um, and we have about, we, we're obviously developing our own products on that too, but we're not really focused on that. We're focused on the platform, but the user-facing products that we have uh, that we also won some challenge awards for. So one is a patient-facing application that allows patients to aggregate their data, and then they can share it with providers. And that data that they share with providers shows up in a provider-facing application. And that provider-facing application, well, all the data that transmits through 1UP Health is tagged with provenance. And that provider-facing application can show you the provenance of any data element that you've connected because that's, you know, if you have data coming from 10 different health systems for one patient, you want to know what's been created at your own organization, but what's also been generated from other places. Uh, so you can see that running within Cerner's power chart. Um, it can also be run as a standalone application. Um, so everything is built on the API platform. Uh, there's the provider app and the patient app. And we have plans to develop the API, uh, the provider app further so that it can be extensible to other application developers. We want to be able to get app developers to inject information right in front of the providers without having to necessarily be able to write back to the EHR because a lot of times health systems want to maintain the EHR as their like master source of truth, but there's still value in getting external information in front of docs and we want to be able to do it in a way where the full provenance can be tracked, but also the user experience can be more flexible than what's allowed natively in the EHR. Um, so what we have today basically uh, is the 200 plus health systems adding about 20 every month. 
uh, available for developers to work with. Uh, we're actually already in production with the second piece, which is HL7 to fire to you know API integration, both read and write. Um, and then what we want to enable is this uh, the platform piece, which I was telling you guys about earlier, where we want to enable developers to immediately or instantly with one click deploy to any health system or a health system with one click to be able to integrate another app developer onto their platform. Like that's that's the world that we're trying to build towards. And I think like there'll be, you know, th there's obviously a long way to that, but I think with Fire, that is much more possible than it ever was before. Uh, so we have uh, 100 companies, are, uh, we hit 100 companies this week building on our Fire APIs. Um, we have uh, five awards from the US government. We actually recently won a grant uh, from HHS to develop analytics on Fire uh, in conjunction with Boston Children's. So a lot of the data that we'll get will also be available through an analytics uh, kind of SQL-like interface eventually and then uh, the support from a bunch of health systems. Uh, we have a few apps that I wanted to show you that are built on 1UP Health. So one is this company called Patient Trials. They built this Facebook Messenger AI chatbot on 1UP Health that keeps patients engaged during the course of a clinical trial. And it only took them you know, just a little over two weeks to do the full integration, which kind of shows you how easy it is, it is to work with us. Um, and they contacted us on the 22nd. They demoed to their clients on the 7th of February. And not only can they demo to their clients that they already have contracts with, but they can demo to 200 other health systems uh, without doing any extra work. Um, you guys may have seen CureSoft here yesterday. Uh, they built this awesome cancer app. Um, in this case, the patient is connecting to four different health systems, all with data that's flowing into their medical timeline. Um, and then, uh, you know, the data that we're getting is not only useful for treatment pr or research purposes. Uh, there's a company called World Medical Bank that is using us to streamline uh, uh, life insurance underwriting. Uh, basically, the case is today that uh, if, a, if an individual wants to get life insurance, they often have to be uh, going into a physical checkup with a doctor, which takes you know a few hours out of their day. It takes uh, you know a few hundred dollars for the insurer or the patient to pay for that checkup, and then that data is transmitted. What we're enabling for World Medical Bank is, you know, any patient can authorize access to their data in 10 seconds, and then World Medical Bank can send that to the underwriter. So right now we cover about 60% of the U.S. population with our FIRE APIs. At the end of this year, it'll probably be 75% of the U.S. population, and at the end of next year, it'll be over 90%. Um, so here's some of the awards that we won from the U.S. government, and if you have any questions, you can find me outside or email me at ricky at 1UP. Thanks.